The South African Service Learning Program in Cape Town started in uh, 2005 uh, with the goal of having uh, our young people from Marquette University uh, to have an insight to global challenges and issues that uh, a lot of people are facing around the world. Uh, the Cape Town Refugee Centre was founded in 1994. Our organisation seeks to, ser uh, to serve uh, vulnerable refugees and asylum seekers. So we do this by giving them psychosocial assistance. We do this by ensuring uh, long-term psychological welfare. We also do this by integrating them in the community through our social cohesion programme. Um, my organization is Sinago. The aim and the goal of it is to keep the children away uh, from street, from the corners, and to protect them as well. That's when I came up with the vision of opening up an after school so that I can give them a safer environment. My organization is called Manigingi and uh, the main goal is to address the problem of chronic poverty, uh, pro uh, chronic hunger out there. What it means is that money means mother and gingi means being industrious. So I'm saying, let's get out there, let's do something. It starts with ourselves, let's not wait for something or somebody. Temba Leto School is a school that caters for learners that are differently abled. They are challenged physically and so they cannot attend a mainstream school. At Tembaletu School we are fortunate to have teachers that are very passionate about what they are doing. While our students are studying here in Cape Town uh, they uh, do service uh, learning work with NGOs and schools around the city and they've had a great impact in those organizations that they are working with. They are always very willing. They are always uh, passionate about what they do. So they are carrying forth that tradition in servicing and helping people uh, that's uh, confronted with challenges. I've been very impressed um, with the level, the, the quality of work they produce. So firstly, our work, more than technical, is firstly hard work. Hard work in the sense that you need to have the passion for the people you're dealing with. And I found that every single Marquette student we've had is passionate about refugee issues, is passionate about development. And that comes through, you know, in the way they learn what we want them to do and the way they execute that. And if they've been given a task, and that task needs to, to link into other things, the one way to be micromanaged to say, do this, do that. The market university students are different from other volunteers because I think it's also their mission and their vision with the Jesuit uh, call to be and to make a difference to people less fortunate. For them being here, to me, it's something that gives me an energy to work every day, to be in this centre every day and work with these kids. Yes, they do site work, they go to local schools, they speak about human rights, refugee rights, and they speak about the work that the organisation does. And particularly they also aim to educate younger children about tolerance and accepting the person who's different from you. They make such a huge difference. They bring life to these children. They give these children hope. They give these children opportunity to develop and become a somebody. But I mean, the minute I join hands with Marquette people, with Marquette students, that's the time I gain back my confidence. I gain back my strength. And then I said, I am not pulling down. I am not reversing. I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm doing what I plan to do, what I wanted to do for quite some time. So for them being with me, honestly, they've made me what I am today. <laughs>